As the COP28 host, the United Arab Emirates plan to discuss possible natural gas and other commercial deals ahead of UN climate talks, an investigation by the BBC and the Centre for Climate Reporting has revealed. Now, this report cited leaked documents, which it said were prepared for the COP28 president-designate Sultan al-Jaber for meetings with at least 27 governments. These allegations are false, not true, incorrect, are not accurate, and it's an attempt to undermine the work of the COP28 presidency. I respect the fact that we have been clear, open, and clean, and honest, and transparent on how we're going to conduct this COP process. Sultan al-Jaber is head of state oil giant Abu Dhabi National Oil Company, and the UAE is a major crude producer and a leading member of the organization of the petroleum exporting countries. Al Jaber has not committed ADNOC to cutting its oil production. He has extended an invitation to oil and gas companies and prioritized private sector climate solutions. The nomination of Mr. Jaber to lead the climate talks has drawn criticism from climate activists. They are concerned he will be unable to take the neutral stance required of a COP president. Critics, from Greta Thunberg to Al Gore, say Al Jaber is just a stalking horse for the fossil fuel industry's continuing efforts to stall the global climate agenda. Al Jaber, meanwhile, says he's uniquely positioned to reconcile the many interests in the climate fight. More than 100 members of the European Parliament and the US Congress declared in May that Al Jaber had severely jeopardized the COP process. Al Jaber is not wrong that the world requires cold eyed realism, but no one knows where his version of realism will lead yet. For its part, the UAE has pledged to reduce its emissions by 19% by 2030 using 2019 as the baseline. Recently, though, under Al Jaber's leadership, the state-owned oil company announced plans to increase production by a total of more than 7 billion barrels, a move that clearly strains against this pledge. Parmeshwar Bhava for NDTV.